Rated M for Mature. My dear sister, two months have passed since my last letter. Time does move slow when you have little to do. As I sit and wait in this dreary cell, I watch the courtyard outside with great intrigue. Yesterday, I witnessed something quite special. A crow landed close to my window, attempting to grasp a piece of bread lodged just beyond its reach. This determined creature tried time and time again, but its beak was too short and too thick. Eventually, the crow left in what I concluded was defeat. But to my amazement, the crow flew back with a stick in its feet. This cunning bird used the stick to dislodge the food and fly away with its prize. A small victory, but it reminded me of our struggle and that we must adapt if our plan is to succeed. Some may shun the outsider's weapons and tactics, but we cannot be afraid to embrace them in pursuit of our goals. Spread the word to our allies. We must be like the crow. Action remains at the core of Rise of the Ronin. It is the culmination of our previous work on action games as Team Ninja. Team Ninja's action is known for its high speed and difficulty. We feel it's part of the player's expectations as well. There's the importance of action in gameplay. And the power of authenticity you get from a period drama story. Let's fight! Whilst I was visiting places such as Shoka Sinjuku or Meiring Akusha, I realized how locals were truly dedicated to their studies at the time. There were plenty of academic manuals, including research on the Dutch and Occidental weaponry. At a time when Japan was isolated and people couldn't access any information from the rest of the world, it was incredible to see the amount of foreign information, worldly cultures, and teachings they were studying. They then put this to good use in order to build Japan's future. I believe we managed to convey that in Rise of the Ronin as well. Looking at the Bakumatsu era, there were many philosophers with different schools of thought. They can be split into pro and anti-shogunate ideologies. These ideologies fought and contrasted with each other. The goal was to look at how this fight would translate in the action, which weapons and fighting styles would be adopted, and first of all, why that fight was happening. Ready yourselves! We looked at each personality, along with the choice of weapon, and worked out how to make these battles authentic within Ronin. The more we researched, the more we found. The Munen star and the Hokushinto star as well demonstrated how these people lived their life through the katana, how it was their weapon of choice. It was here where we really felt the power of history. From that period, as we moved towards the modern era, weaponry changed. For example, handguns were introduced. We had to think how to integrate them and balance the use of them with close combat. Which meant we had to develop gameplay that incorporated both close combat and ranged attacks. The bayonet was a logical addition when we thought of developing new weapons for Ronin. 
perfectly suits the Bakumatsu era. We dedicated time to working on adding new gimmicks in the fighting actions. This game is completely original. As an action game, I believe that it wasn't necessary to make the game resemble a history textbook. It was about creating a reality that was totally plausible in Rise of the Ronin's universe. The team would either agree or disagree to several ideas each day to crystallize what was possible in this game's universe. When it comes to action, first I look at something that is humanly possible. Actions you are able to achieve through exercise and training. This is the action that I wanted to make, rather than people just flying around. I wanted to explore what is possible for humans to achieve after long years of dedicated training. I know. Tag along with me, will you? What we insisted on most whilst building Rise of the Ronin's story was creating a bond system. We looked at the bond you create with other historical figures. Then they can either help you or become opponents. Won't lay a finger on me! Depending on the people you take with you, this will also affect the techniques you can use too. Having a certain character with you will bring something unique. It also allows for unexpected combinations that might prove to be worthwhile. You can switch between characters as well. It was a lot of work to create the system, but it was definitely the right thing to do. There is also the ability to read an enemy's moves to your advantage that is unique to this game. This is demonstrated through the Counterspark system. Actions used based on the opponent's moves. It needs to be used with precise timing. And you have to be able to predict your enemy's moves. A large part of the combat in Ronin is based around a wide variety of actions you can choose to combat your enemies. It was essential for us that the player gets positive feelings from the action, to feel the battles, and for the enemy actions to look cool. However, as we set the stage for the game and built its story, the period drama aspect was a strong element that we always kept in mind.